This is a hugely significant and exciting discovery. We've effectively pushed back the date of human occupation of the island of Ireland by two and a half thousand years. Until now, we knew that people had been here about 10,000 years ago, but now we've pushed that back into an earlier period into the Paleolithic. This journey began in 1903 when a team of scientists, the foremost scientists in Ireland at the time, excavated a small cave outside Ennis in County Clare. And during those excavations, they recovered archeological material and thousands of animal bones. And the bone that forms the center of our project was one of those bones. And they commented on this bone in their excavation report. They remarked on the fact that it had these cut marks. This is a patella, which is a knee bone. And this bone is from a bear. It's an adult bear. The cut marks tell us uh, of somebody butchering a bear carcass. So we're looking at a scenario where you have a bear and it's being butchered. They're cutting through the knee area, probably to pull out the tendons. We're also looking at somebody who seems to be perhaps inexperienced at this uh, because you can see there are seven or eight different lines cut marks on the bone so it seems that they're having a little bit of difficulty cutting through this area. The first piece of work we did is we took a sample from the bone and we sent it for radiocarbon dating to Queen's University Belfast. The date that came back was 12 and a half thousand years ago. This was very exciting, it was completely unexpected. So we wanted to verify that date to make sure that the date was accurate. So we took a second sample from the bone and we sent this sample to the University of Oxford and the radiocarbon dating laboratory there sent back exactly the same result. So here we had two dates that were absolutely identical and they confirmed the date of the patella. We wanted to be sure that even though the patella dated to the Upper Paleolithic, that the cut marks were contemporaneous, that the cut marks were the same age as the patella. So we invited three different specialists to look at the bone and they independently examined the cut marks. They had no idea of the date of the bone and the three of them agreed that the cut marks were made using a sharp implement and they were made on fresh bone. So the bear was butchered um, soon after death. This find totally rewrites the human history of the island of Ireland. It's incredibly significant. It's really exciting. It's going to change the face of early prehistoric studies of this country. We're going to now start looking at Paleolithic occupation. We can now start studying the very earliest societies that lived on the island. One of the most important things is that we've pushed back the date of human occupation of the island. We've pushed it back by two and a half thousand years beyond what was already known. Scientists and archaeologists have been looking for the Irish Paleolithic since the 1860s. A lot of work has gone into looking for the Paleolithic. This is the first time that we've actually been successful in locating a site that indicates early occupation of the island. And what we need to do now is to build on that foundation. There's further work to be done on the animal bone assemblage from this site and there is also the potential to return to the cave itself and excavate some of the sediments that remain in the cave.